so uh, hello there guys uh, welcome back to another video um, it's me Daryl and today we are playing um, some mirrors edge catalyst now this game is pretty old by well today's standards it's coming up to nearly eight years old this game was released back in 2016 so this game is incredibly old Oh, well, not incredible, but it's, uh, it's still pretty old. And uh, today we're checking out a mod called uh, Faith in the Streets, well, plus God Mode, so I don't die. And uh, this mod does, well, exactly what it says. It allows Faith to explore the city of Glass in a more free roam way. And. You'll be able to tell when um, when you get to ground level that there was so much more potential for this game. Uh, this game is obviously unfinished as uh, get underneath here. And drop down to here. Now this is the highest you can drop from so you don't die. So what I do is I go down here, I drop from here, so Faith will not die, there you go, because uh, when you drop from a really high place you, you can still face plant the floor even though you're in god mode. And so here we are, this is Mirror's Edge Catalyst in the streets, Faith in the streets has to say, this is amazing. <laughs> uh, I've seen many videos of this on uh, YouTube. Oh yeah, we're gonna, hang on, I'm gonna actually disable that, hang on a sec, uh, actually I don't know how to do that, um, disable that, gameplay, we'll just, we'll just have subtitles off for now, we're still gonna get the audio, but, no, at least the subtitles are already. Better. Uh, yeah, so this is Faith in the Streets. This mod allows you to, well, it's basically what it, it does what it says. This allows Faith to run at ground level, uh, which you can't normally do in this game. And you can free roam and wall ride. As you can see, <laughs> some of the things don't look quite right. Like that guy who just ran through there, just walked through a building. And all these character models are all very standard and generic. They're just like placeholder models. As you can see, if you go up to them here, yeah, they'll actually look kind of creepy when they're in the dark. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Um, uh, if it seems like I don't have any upgrades, because I'm doing this mod straight from the beginning, because I would just want to play this mod so much so if it looks like my faith is kind of weak then she kind of is um but i don't care about that all i care about is exploring this damn city with a uh, wall well, at street level you see there's some more character placeholder models here very generic looking they look like every standard generic character in any game ever um, so yeah, we're just going to be doing some, um, some free running around the city of glass at street level now. Some of the things are also going to look pretty weird in this is, uh, yeah. So as you can clearly see, this building is floating above the ground. Uh, <laughs> which is not ideal. I don't know how that's structurally supported. But there you go. It's because you're meant to be on the building, not below it. So there's just a big void here where the rest of the building is supposed to be. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, weird, but cool. As you can see, you've got lots of flying vehicles around, but you still got ground level vehicles too, like cars and, um, and bikes and stuff like that. But they're pretty generic looking. As you can see, all the cars and the bikes have the same model. Um, you see every car looks the same 
Except from the colour just changes every once in a while. Uh, I wonder what that's the kind of blank future we're gonna have. Where all the cars look the same. And um, <laughs> uh, I guess we'll probably never live to see that. Anyway, let's let's focus on the hero now. I was I was getting a bit too. Um, I just I just love like how this game makes you think about the future. Well, what what cities could look like in like 20, 30, 40 years down the line? The representation of what a futuristic city could look like without all the bugs and running through stuff, obviously. <laughs> As you can see, we're just walk totally through that bridge because apparently we can't run across that. Um, that is something that can't be run across. Uh, I do want to get to some of the more interesting areas. We're in a bit of a dark place at the moment. Um, I actually have no idea where we are on the map. We are in... Oh, we're just in the city of glass. <laughs> it's just... Free roam, that's, that's where you are. Um, so I want to head to, oh god, so much of the game is available now because you can go anywhere, that's, that area looks interesting. Okay, so the game is telling me that I can only go that far. Okay, there is a runner's vision for this, but it, it's above ground. <laughs> uh, actually, no, to not confuse ourselves, let's let's just remove that. Oh god! Yeah, I, I knew that was going to happen. Uh, the map kind of started glitching out there for a second. Look how tall that bloody building is. Jesus Christ. There above is the labs where one of the missions takes place. Actually, I know, I know a mission ta does take place in there. But this is what it looks like from ground level. That is weird. Holy cow. Whoa. That's cool. <laughs> um. I have played this game on console too, um, I've completed it on uh, Xbox Series S recently, uh, only the story not 100%. Uh, surprisingly, the story mode of this game makes up about 79% of the game. Uh, the rest of it is like challenges and collectibles and stuff like that. I wonder what this area is. Oh, no, apparently we can't go down those steps like they can, we just run straight through it. I wonder if this is meant to be like a like a subway area. See, the, these, more of these generic bald donnies walking all over the place. Why are they bald? Why? <laughs> you, you can really tell that they, they look like placeholder models because <laughs> they're all bald. They don't have... They don't have hair, apparently. Can we walk across this? Nope. We can't walk across anything in the street level. Except the ground. <laughs> uh, whoa. That was weird. It looked like you could walk straight into that, then it started bending. And there you go. You can just run straight through that. Boom. Physics! That's what that is right there. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I want to know how many of you have played this game. I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have played this game by now. It's, uh, it's, it's. I'm gonna say it's old. It, it is old by today's standards. Um, I remember when this game was announced back at E3 2013. Um, and I was super excited about playing it, and I never, I never got to play because. Um, I, I didn't buy the game back then because I didn't have a lot of money. Um, whoa, this area is cool. What is this area? Where where are we now? 
Reverberate Drive, I think that says. <laughs> so Reverberate Drive. Uh, if if I butchered that, I, I apologize. Um, but I think I got that right. So here's some more standard generic car models. Um, they are very low res. Oh, cars don't look like that in the future. They're going to be kind of unsafe. I like the wheels though. The wheels are cool. Uh, but yeah, every car looks the same because... Of course they do because you're not meant to see them. Because you're meant to be above ground, not below it. Oh, I'm just running into a dark blue maze. Whoa, that's actually kind of... That's actually kind of weird in some way. The fact that the atmosphere can just change like that. Uh, here we have some signs that we don't know where they go. Because again, you're not meant to see them. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to say that anymore throughout this video. <laughs> because why well, I just end up sounding like a broken record. Um, so yeah, like I said before, I want to know how many of you play this game. And like I said, I'm, I'm pretty sure most of you have. I said this game came out in 2016. And it was a pretty popular game, although some people find this a bit more of a, a downgrade to what the original Mirror's Edge was. And the original Mirror's Edge came out way back in like 2008, which is makes me feel really old. I mean, I was in high school. I was in my second year of high school when that game came out, so that makes me feel even older. <laughs> yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm nearly 30, guys. Don't. <laughs> um... But yeah, because the original Mirror's Edge was much more focused on just actual missions rather than a free running environment. And we just got a little review of some cars flying in the background there before all the stuff loaded in. Uh, so yeah, but the, the original Mirror's Edge was much more focused on like actual missions rather than the free roaming aspect. You know, you had to you know get through a series of stages. Um, and that was how you progress through the game. Whereas Mirror's Edge Catalyst completely blew the idea of like open world out of the water at the time. Um, you know, they made this environment, you know, explorable. You can, you know, free uh, parkour across rooftops and and things like that. And it, it was a real big step in the, in the game's direction. Um, somewhere they just parked in the middle of the road oh hang on a sec you are in the road why are you just parked there I guess this is a parking area in the future who knows What's keeping you safe? <laughs> I'm at the jump off point um so yeah uh, um yeah this this Mirror's Edge Catalyst completely blew the idea of the, out of the water of like having a, an open world uh, explorative uh, environment to you know like free roam and parkour around and it, it really it really was a big step up from the original Mirror's Edge but people I think why people love the original Mirror's Edge so much is because it was much more mission focused it was much more focused on natural missions and you know, the actual missions felt rewarding because, you know, you know if you made progress because you know you, it, because you completed a mission. Uh, for some reason we can run up this, which is quite unusual. Whoa. That was weird. I don't know why I could run up that and not anything else. Let's try, let's try that again. Oh, I can't get down there for some reason. <laughs> Can't go back. Oh, I suppose it was this way. Uh, so yeah, like I was saying, um, yeah, the um, uh, so the original Mirror's Edge was much more mission based, and uh, this game is much more free roam based. I mean, it's still mission based. You still got missions where you progress through the story. 
Uh, the story in this game is actually pretty good. Uh, I've played it myself, and uh, it does have some great aspects to it, and uh, and stuff like that. Um, but it's it's still free run based, and that's why people like the original so much better. I mean, people still like this one. I mean, this one is still good. It's faith runs through traffic like there's no tomorrow. Um, but yeah, people still like this one um, because you know it's it's free roam. It's an environment that you can explore. But I can see why some people like the original too. Um, because like I said, it was mission focused, and you had uh, the missions were actually felt like progress. So um, let me know which game you like. Do you prefer the original or the sequel? This one, as we're heading into a very white, white lit area. Anyone who's not good with lights, um, I'll, I can't. I, I, I'll just say that don't, don't watch that part of the video. <laughs> I'll just. Squint your eyes. Yeah, that'd be that'd be better. <laughs> um, here we have some, uh, a tourist map thing, which is very low res. Um, it wouldn't be much help, I, I, I'm afraid. They just look like uh, placeholder signs. So who knows what they say? Um, imagine the tourism in this game. Uh, there was actual tourists, I mean, you know, tourism in an area like this would be insane as the lights from the shops are very bright. I'm not actually going to wave them out. Whoa! Jump over that car like it's no tomorrow. Um, but yeah, the lights on the shops are quite blind, so I'm going to try and get away from them so I don't blind myself. Where, where, where are we now? Shimmering Heights. I think we're actually in the uh, the area near where Regatta Bay is. In fact, I can find that out right now. Let's, let's see. Glass. Shimmering Heights, Crystal Valley, Concord Plaza, Eden Village. Yeah, we're in this we're in this sort of area now. So this is the Resining District area. That's in the development zone right there. Now we're in this part of the map. This part of the map is really cool. Um, obviously you can't go that far, but thanks to being out of bounds, we can. So I like this part of the map. This part of the map looks really, really, really cool. I mean, from above, it, uh, it actually does look pretty cool, this part of the map. Um, so this is where, um, this is the area you unlock uh, later in the game. Um, when you get the the mag rope that lets you swing across things, and then you can access this area by you know running through a bunch of obstacles, and then you get to the ladder, and then that's how you end up here. Um, and I think this area is called Crystal Valley. The start of this area, I'm not quite sure. I might have to check that, but uh, yeah, I think it's called Crystal Valley. You can see all these buildings are are run throughable. Is that even a word? Uh, it is now. <laughs> uh, obviously not all of them, but all the windows are. So you can go inside all the windows. Obviously Faith just gets back out again. Um, so yeah, uh, this this mod is, is really cool. When I, I was playing the rain with this a bit last night. Um, I mean, it's it's a really impressive mod. Whoa, what the hell? Okay, uh, I just distracted myself because that was really strange. This feels like a void that we're running through right now. This doesn't feel like a game anymore. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. 
you know, there's no people around here on this part of the map. This is just an empty map now. What is that? What the hell? Did you, did you guys see that? That was a cube that just disappeared into the ground. What the hell? Is that gonna happen again? No. Oh my god, that was actually really freaky. Uh, I don't think you was ever meant to see. There it is again. Oh, I think it's meant to be an elevator. But it just looks. See, yeah, it's, see how it's stopping on certain places. But it's not matching to the floor it stops on. That, that was really strange. <laughs> I, um, I hope the mic didn't catch that. <laughs> I just farted. Sorry about that. Um, uh, yeah, enough of that. Uh, let's get back to uh, talking about this part of the map. So yeah, this map looks, this part of the map looks really strange. I mean, where, the, where the hell even are we right now? We're just in the city of glass, just standard generic city of glass. I think we're outside the actual confines of the map. Yes, we are. Because there's all the stuff that we need to do and we're here. Now the game tells us that we can only go this far. The game's obviously lying because we can go further than that. Actually, I don't know if we can because there was some area I was trying to get to before and it wouldn't let me run through it. So maybe you can't go all the way. Maybe there is a limit despite this being a mod. But this part of the map is really strange. No one's feels kind of haunting you know there's no people around these parts there's no cars there's just low texture roads that go into buildings whoa oh, I saw some car headlights do I trust to step off that yep apparently we're walking through the air okay this is starting to get a bit surreal I'm not gonna lie these buildings all have very low res textures on them, and they're all the same. It's just starting to feel like some dystopian shit. Uh, <laughs> I, I didn't mean to swear then, guys. I apologize. But it does. It, it, it looks like some dystopian, weird future movie. Like the visuals of Tron, I guess. We're getting we're getting a bit too surreal now with this map. We're way out of the boundaries of the normal map. Let's see how far we are. Yeah, the map tells us we can't go any further, but we can. So we are now officially outside of the confines of the game. So if that wasn't the confines of the game, or being outside, this definitely is we're now in unexplored territory actually i don't know if anyone else has explored the map like this but until i see visual proof i am the only one so haha <laughs> great if you could get here while we're still young what the hell is that i think that was some game audio just uh, through an intercom because we're going to be doing some missions right now um, but we're just, we're way outside the map. So the, the map, the map tells us that we can't go this far. But the boundaries of the, didn't the boundaries of the map end here? If the boundaries of the map ended like here. See, once I try and go back to where I am now, I can't go any further. 
So where we were before, this bit here, this was the official boundaries of the map. We're way past that. I'm just gonna keep going, guys. I'm just gonna see what's down here. I mean, it looks like Faith has unlimited stamina because she can run forever. We got floating buildings. That's uh, it's nice to see. Wonder how their structure was supported. Probably not very well, but this is the future, so they could they could have developed floating buildings. Yeah, these generic building builder uh, builder building models are kind of creepy. It makes everything look the same. It kind of looks minimalistic in a way. Like I said, guys, we're just going to keep going. We're just going to see what this map has to offer. We're way beyond the con the boundaries of the game. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, you can see through the sky. So that's something you're meant to do. Actually, I think that's just a big reflection. Where probably where a road is meant to be, but it's not, so you can just see the sky. Keep going. <laughs> I wonder how much further we can actually go. Because we're we're coming up to a bridge right now. I wanna turn this way and head for this well actually if we can get to it through here. We head for this long straight ass road. We're probably in some very unexplored territory right now, guys. We have gone far. The normal map isn't even a thing anymore. Nope, we don't get to run across it. We could just run right under it. How much further can we go? Well, I'm going to try. It's going to take us a while. see if I can maybe this will make it go faster no not that um, video camera FOV oh that's interesting it set the texture. Whoa. Okay, you can set the um, the texture quality. I didn't know you could do that. That's pretty cool. Uh, set. Oh, we have to restart the game. No, we're not doing that right now. No. Although the game, although the game does look slightly better now. <laughs> um. Like I said, guys, we're not, we're not going to restart the game like the game said. Because um, it looks like the effects just work, but we're going to keep going. We're just going to see where this shit goes. Where the hell even are we right now? Whoa. Look how long this freaking road is. If anyone has been this far out of the map before, um, please just comment on the video, because <laughs> this is crazy. I mean, we're not it's not even faith in the streets anymore, it's faith out of bounds. This is, this is insane. There's nothing on, there's nothing in this part of the map. Faith, you might have just entered an undeveloped world. We just got a runner's kit dropped, but it's probably back, way back at the hideout. <laughs> 
What's the hideout? What even is that place anymore? We've got new, we've got new territory to explore. It's probably hidden early unreleased Mirror's Edge 2 content, not clickbait. <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm just kidding guys, I, I don't I don't do um, stuff like that. <laughs> it was just a joke. I actually, I actually don't like those clickbait thumbnails. They're, they're kind of kind of annoying. If you're gonna make a thumbnail, make it true to what you you see in the video. That's my phone. Okay. We are in, we are here. Whatever this place is. It doesn't have any coordinates. <laughs> well, here we are. But this is gonna be such a long video. How long have I been recording for? It won't tell me, but. Um, I said I was going to do some long videos, so here we go. Here we are. We are far away from the boundaries of the normal map. We have run across that entire bridge. Well, underneath the bridge. And now, I don't even know where the hell we are anymore. This is some, we, I mean, we've gone deep into this game, guys. I've seen people play this mod before, but probably not to this extreme. <laughs> yeah, it's just more standard generic building models. Oh, that's weird. The lighting, whoa, oh. Oh, guys, I think we broke it. Nope, we're good. Nope, we broke it again. Uh, <laughs> I don't think we're meant to go beyond this point. Nope. The game will severely not let us go that far. So this is the limit. Although we can still run sideways, we just can't go forwards. Can't, can't go going forwards this way. Nope. The game just says you've reach, reached your limit, Faith. You can still run sideways, but not forwards. So let's see where the actual limit of the game is. The actual limit in the game looks like it's about there. Oh god. I... I think we broke it. Uh, <laughs> yep. Oh no, we're back. Whoa, that took a long time. To get back so this is it guys this is the maximum point you can reach yeah because it's just all white beyond there who knows what those buildings in the distance are or contain who knows what this whole area is crazy I, I'm gonna try and run this way but I don't think the game is gonna like it very much like I said if you like this video if you like what you see in this video make sure to like 
I'll leave a like. I just like three times in that sentence. And nope, the, the game breaks again. Jump, go back. Ah, uh, is it gonna let us go back? Is this the void? Oh God, I think we really did break it. Come on, Faith, get back. Yeah, guys, I think I think we we pretty much are done here. Um, so there we go. <laughs> um, I'm gonna leave this video here. I think this is a good place. In fact, actually. We'll, uh, we'll reload the checkpoint. We'll just go back to normality for a second uh, to end the video. So there you go, guys. That was the mod Faith in the Streets for Mirror's Edge Catalyst taken to the extreme. That's going to be a really wicked title. I'm not sure what the title's going to be yet, but wow, doesn't this look strange now compared to where we were just five seconds ago? <laughs> But anyway, guys, uh, like I said, if, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and uh, I don't ask for subscribers a lot, you know, because I feel like it's kind of been picky. But, you know, if you want to subscribe, that would be nice. Uh, but I'm, I'm not going to force you to do that. Um, same for, say, like two, three, four likes. That would be, that'd be excellent, guys. Um, so like I said if you like this video please make sure to leave a like on it and uh, subscribe if you want to like I said I'm not going to force you and uh, if you want to do more videos like this where we actually play the actual game and you know explore some act do some actual free roam not faith in the streets uh, be sure to let me know and uh, as always guys I will catch you in the next video Bye.